Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-February 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libra Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Talk to me, my guides. What do we got for these Libras in the middle of the month of love? One card to start, and yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card, then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms, switching up the deck this week, just to pull you a shadow card. It's always very introspective and nice, but let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Libra, please. In mid-February, first card out. Let's get it going. All right, quick, nice and quick. Okay. So energetic emotional connections, very important here in the front stages of this spread. Now, look at the imagery of this. It's striking to me, and it does show up for different signs from time to time. And it does absolutely speak about those that we have a really close bond with, okay? Now, if you're not going through anything romantic, it could just be pointing at a specific individual in your circle. But before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the February subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card. So if you look at the imagery here, there's a man, he's standing in a room, there's a woman, she is like halfway out the mirror and it doesn't feel like a horror film or a horror flick here it, it is a little concerning if someone's coming out of the damn mirror but it does imply distance and separation so for some labors yeah maybe there's someone you care deeply for there's some physical distance or even emotional distance there but that's not the main message i always pick up with this remember it doesn't just have to be romantic it's my personal belief that when we form bonds with people whether it is romantic whether it's family members, friends, there's an emotional exchange, there's an emotional cord there, where the energy goes back and forth. Spirit is highlighting that here. So if it's something you've been wondering about, Spirit's saying like, yeah, there's some sort of energetic cord or connection there, okay? Whether you want it to be or whether you don't. Now, this could be a very good thing, but this could also be a challenge in some ways as well, because Spirit could be saying like, the energy of those that you're connected to could be affecting you in a big way. So just know, for the Libra Collective in the coming days and weeks, you're empathy, your powers of sensitivity could be extra heightened. And those around you doesn't even just have to be people you have a deep connection with. People around you could be affecting your energy. So yeah, let's let's move forward. Let's get into tarot now. I'm going to get you three cards in the upright before we get into the intuitive juiciness. And yeah, I always say that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just the footnote. So let's get it going. Let's shuffle this deck up for you. See what's happening for Libra. And while we get the deck ready, Let's talk about last week's reading, my friends. It was titled A Sticky Situation. Okay, so I'm hoping you weren't having one. And it didn't feel like anything crisis mode. It didn't feel anything like raise the alarm, raise the red flags. But I felt like some Libras out there could be dealing with some sticky situations, literally. So we're going to see if that still persists. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. So let's get three cards for the lovely Libras, please. My gods and spirit team, what do we have for mid-February? Thank you. Judgment. Someone making a move on something here. There's some sort of action being made. We're starting with a bang here with the judgment card. Powerful. Powerful, spiritual, angelic. I mean, you name it. Karmic, all, all of the above. Let's get a couple more. Really start to piece this together. Five of Wands. Okay, that might be something to watch out for, but that doesn't necessarily have to be a challenge. Let's get you one more out here, then we'll really start to build this out. One more here for Libra, please. What's happening for my friends? Mid-February. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Uh, there might be someone you're connected to that has some conflicted feelings, conflicted emotions, or that could be a mode you're in here. I'm already picking up some intuitive vibes off this spread as well. But let's go through and... Uh, I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, um, once again, I'm not feeling treachery or anything that's like raise the alarms. No warnings just yet. But if we look here, there's a lot of fiery energy in the front. We also have this emotional energy here on the back. That's why I was saying whether it's people, there's just a lot happening here. There's an energetic intensity 
that I'm feeling here, Libra. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out. Like with the fire, with the water, with the judgment, that forward push. It's intense, very intense. But position number one, let's talk about judgment. So we see Archangel Gabriel there. And this is a huge card of transformation. It's a huge card of change. And it's also a card of action. I always say this is something that's like unstoppable type of change. And it is very powerful and explosive when I see judgment. Now for a portion of you, maybe you're making a literal judgment call. Maybe you're making a literal decision. That's a possibility when this card's in the mix. But generally, I just see this as action and change. Now, it can also represent spiritual protection. So some of you might need to know, like, listen, your guides, your spirit team, they're watching out for you. They might be sending you signs. This could be a really good card as well. But it's just very, very intense. Like, that's the best way I could put it. So, yeah, it could be change, could be karmic, could be all that stuff. And sometimes it could, it could even represent things returning which is a thing I've been seeing for you in recent weeks. I think I saw it for you like two weeks ago and then a few weeks before that. So like there's energy of like cycles coming back around or things returning possibly. So we'll see what's up with that. But it's very powerful. Moving to the center, we have the Five of Wands. Now you don't have to be an expert in tarot to understand what this Five of Wands represents. You see the five people are beating the crap out of each other with sticks. And yeah, it could literally just represent some sort of conflict, whether it's physical conflict people putting up the dukes and doing their thing don't do that right you might get in into some trouble this could be internal conflict as well like feeling one way feeling another there could be a lot of emotions especially with this queen of cups there on the back end but a good thing about this card yes it is fiery yes it's explosive but at the same time there's a ton of determination where if spirits testing you if you're going through problems or situations or what have you this is someone that has a lot of determination to get through whatever it is they're going through. So right, this, some, this is a person that has no quit. Okay, so that's nice. There could be a certain thing that you're like, okay, I'm not giving up, which is good. So I, I like it. It just depends on what the clarifier is. That's going to be super important with these two because I, it could swing either extreme which I know as a Libra, you probably don't like to hear, but there could possibly be extremes in the energy. Now, moving to the back end, we have a much softer, loving, caring type of vibe, which is really nice. We have the Queen of Cups. So this is water sign energy and could represent a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, not gender specific whatsoever. Um, she represents mother figure. She represents nurturing, loving, caring, fertility. There's a lot of emotional depth within the Queen of Cups because all queens represent the internal world. The Queen of Cups is like double the emotion, double the feeling. So although it's soft and loving and nurturing and caring, it's also quite intense. Now this could represent a connection you have with somebody else. Remember that we saw it in the very beginning, right? The emotional energetic connection chords, the queen of cups, just like the king and the knight and the page, they represent love, they represent connection. So this could be really good. Now a challenge that I see with this queen of cups is sometimes she can suppress things. Okay, sometimes there's things that she feels like she wants to say or needs to say, but she doesn't for whatever reason. So we'll see what's up with that, Like, because there's a lot of energy bubbling under the surface. I want to dive deeper on all of it, Libra. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for you, my friend. See what's happening. Talk to me, my gods. What do we got for these Libras here? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation. And I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on judgment here. See if someone's preparing an action of some sort. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Libra, you could drop it right in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, judgment time. What's happening? Why is judgment here? Thank you. Yeah, boom. Explosive action. Explosive action. This is something starting with an absolute bang, and it doesn't necessarily feel bad to me. Once again, we have another possible individual here. If you are connected to a fire sign and you're going through any situations with a fire sign, I would expect... Um, action and, and improvement possibly. We'll see when we get over to the Five of Wands, but this Knight of Wands fits right in with the mix of what I was saying about judgment and the Five of Wands. It's fiery, it's action-based, it's forward momentum. So even if you're not connected to a fire sign, this Knight of Wands is blasting off to do something. So once again, I feel like this is either 
an explosive action that someone's going to take where it's like it goes from zero to 100 super quick. Or this could be change based. This could be an explosive change, possibly. I've been seeing that for a few signs in the mix as well. So I don't want to pigeonhole it into one or the other because I feel like it could be a little bit of both. I'm hoping that it's for the best because we still have a lot to go. But another thing, there's a lot of people in your energy here this week, Libra, more so than normal. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if you're talking with more people than you normally do on the phone, texting, whatever. Like there's just a lot of people when we have the night, we have the queen, we have these five people in the middle. I just feel like there's a lot of people. So watch your energy in this time. There could be a lot of things or people affecting your energy. But overall, you know, I'm going to try my best not to complicate this message. It could be something going from zero to 100 explosive action or change. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, we're not going to stay there for super long. It is what it is. I think you get the point. So let's go in on that five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Please. I just, I feel something picking up steam very, very quickly. Okay, and I don't necessarily feel like it's a bad thing. I just feel like it goes from nothing to something. Like really, really, really quick. In a good way, hopefully. I mean, this feels really good to me in the center now. We have the Knight of Cups in the upright underneath the Five of Wands. I do feel like there's somebody that wants to mend a bridge here in the center, um, which is really, really good. I'm loving what I'm feeling here. Now, I always get a little skeptical when I see a lot of fire energy, especially in the beginning of a spread, because although I have a lot of fire sign placements myself, I know how uncontrollable it could be from time to time. But in the center, it's given me two main things. One... This could be the conflicted feelings I was already speaking about. Remember I said like with the queen and the five of wands, there might be certain things where you go from happy to sad or angry to glad. Like I'm getting a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the emotional realm. But the intuitive vibe I'm getting here, water sign energy, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we have the Prince Charming, Knight of Cups underneath the five of wands. And I just feel this is peacemaker energy where somebody wants to mend a bridge and make something right. So for some of you, there might be some sort of uh, clearing the air. There might be some sort of apology or communication. That's a big possibility. I, I would say at the very least, there could be a clearing of the air here. But I just really like this. I feel like this is someone that just wants things to be good. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way I could put it. So take that for what it's worth, whether that's your energy or somebody else's. Like, no, they don't want this five of wands. And when we get Prince Charming, there is a lot of care here. There's a lot of care. Even if you don't see it, if, even if you don't feel it at the moment, there's a lot of care. It's the best way I could put it. Let's keep moving forward. Let's see what the queen has to say. Because what I was once a little skeptical about all the stuff I was seeing here, like with the action and things going from zero to 100, this could be things starting to improve for sure. So let's go in on that queen of cups. Let's see what's up. I mean, yeah, we do have like this little, uh, I don't know how to feel about this, but... At the same time, I feel like it's someone wanting to make things right in one way. So let's see what the queen has to say. Why is the queen here for Libra? Okay. Thank you. Empress. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, you, we couldn't have ended the reading in a much better way. This is one of the cards that do represent you, Libra, the Empress, because she is Venus energy and Libras are ruled by Venus. It could also represent a Taurus here. Now we go from all this fire, all this action, this stuff in the middle, this conflicted energy to the water, earthy mixture, which speaks about potential. Now, the Queen of Cups and the Empress do have a lot of similarities. They could both represent mother figures. They can both represent fertility. So for any of you... It's a very fertile energy if you catch my drift. So whether you're trying or be careful, I don't like to lean on pregnancy types of messages, but it's showing up there on the back. But when I see the Empress, I think of blessings. I think of creation. This is the prototypical goddess energy. And the fact that she is in the upright underneath the Queen of Cups, a certain situation that you may be going through or may have been going through, you might look at it when all is said and done, when all of this energy works itself through as a blessing in disguise. Okay, that's a big intuitive vibe I'm picking up here with the Queen of Cups and the Empress because it's like, I feel okay about this now. Like, all better. Like, so if there is an apology, if there is a mending, I do feel things improving and getting much better for you. Whatever it is that might be sticking in your mind right now, whatever situations or tension, I don't feel it there forever. 
I really don't. And I do feel like this energy starting to solidify and, and just feels better, all better. So whatever the outcome, I feel like it's going to lean positive for a lot of you. Because remember, that's your, one of your cards. She's in the upright underneath the Queen of Cups. To me, that indicates really good feeling. So either a blessing in disguise or coming to some sort of emotional stability about it, where it's not as conflicted anymore. But once again, Libra, so many people. We have th three court cards. We got the Empress. We got the five people in the middle. There's just a lot of people, a lot of energies at play here. So let's go through and do a quick recap. Then we'll get into the shadow card. Very intriguing reading this week. Position number one, and we did start with a lot of fire, but it cooled off. That's the good thing here. So we started with a bang, this explosive energy, but it cools off because look at all this volatile energy into the stable solid. So I love how this flows. It's kind of like a yin-yang if you really look at it. Now, judgment with the Knight of Wands in the upright could be somebody making a snap decision or a snap judgment call. Absolutely. Could be having a situation with a fire sign. If not, this is someone taking an action going from zero to 100 real quick, very explosive, and could also represent a change. Very simple, straightforward. Like this is movement happening. So it's like from nothing to something very quickly. In the center, we have the Five of Wands with the Knight of Cups in the upright. Mending of a bridge. Now for a portion of you, you could be emotionally conflicted about something very much back and forth. But aside from that, I do get like, an apologetic or what's mend things type of energy here. And it feels really good. Uh, a clearing of the air possibly, but at the very least, it's letting things settle down. Moving to the back end, we have the Queen of Cups with the Empress in the upright. So whatever situation you're going through right now at the end of the day might be seen as a blessing in disguise for some reason. And I feel an emotional contentment here. So there is blessings to be had. There's a good outcome to be had. And I really love this especially on the back end. So please take a screenshot of that. Let's see what's in shadows for you, Libra. Okay, let's get a good shuffle here and see what the shadow card is for my lovely Libra friends. Guides and spirit team, talk to me. And yes, I would like to pull one of these at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always, don't always have to be a challenge. So let's get you one. And yes, if you've made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. It is a beautiful way to support the channel. And I have much love and appreciation for my channel members. No pressure, though. Let's get your shadow card out real quick. Thank you. Nice and quick. Hey, we got the King of Cups, a.k.a. Kyle of Cups himself. He might have a beard in this rendition. I can't tell. He's a little shadowy there. So it kind of does tie into what we are seeing here about emotion. Now, water sign energy showing up, love. We have so many of the love and emotional connections within this reading, even showing up in the shadow. So if you're not connected to a water sign figure here, this is just deep emotional connection. And I absolutely love it in the shadows. Okay. Now, I don't necessarily feel like this is a challenge here. Now, some of you, you might be going through some, some romantic things for sure problems in love that could be it but for the most part i do feel a very similar message to what i was getting in the very beginning because the king of cups even though he rules over the suit of love and emotion what were we talking about those that we care with and that emotional connection how those might be affecting you so you could be feeling those people you have chords with in a very powerful way in this time and i feel like that's just something you need to know so simple straightforward and if you're wondering how someone feels about you there is care and it's a beautiful energy so yeah libra that's what i have for you this week my friends don't click away just yet though i'm gonna give you the details the february subscriber surprise if you would like to book a personal reading with me please feel free to go over to my website mastermetaphysics.com to check out my digital calendar but for the february subscriber surprise i'm giving away two copies of the beautiful everyday witches tarot it's one of my go-to decks and it is absolutely awesome so if you'd like to get your name in for this it's two simple things as always my friends first you must be subscribed and second let me know down in the comments out of all the tarot suits which one vibes with your energy the best? Is it the wands, the pentacles, cups, or swords? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of February, I'll announce the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.